The following is an article in uh, Deccan Herald of Sunday, August 17, 2003. It's an article by Swami Sukhubhadananda where he talks about attachment to detachment. A student and a monk, while walking on the banks of a river, saw a woman drowning. The monk rushed and rescued her. The student was upset as the monk had touched the woman and that was against the vow of uh, monkhood. After a couple of hours, when they reached the monastery, the student expressed his disappointment. The master answered, I touched the woman and dropped the idea of touching him at that very moment. Whereas, you didn't touch her, but are carrying the thought throughout the day that I have touched the woman. Who is more attached? He asked. One has to drop uh, one's attachment and allow one's intelligence to flow. Many times we are victims to our concepts and suffer. Our sufferings are self-made. Our concepts become more important than happiness. We create all sorts of imprisonments, boundaries, and they become our identity and false protection. We start living in such illusions, thereby creating a great delusion. Before death comes dragging us, let us wake up. An old man on his deathbed gets up and screams, Where is my watch? He was dying and still attached to the unessential. He couldn't watch himself. Our bodies are being dragged to the grave while our illusions are dragging us nowhere. Just learn to be happy. Learn to be a flower of joy. A flower gives fragrance unconditionally. Let us likewise give happiness unconditionally. A flower is open and dances to the breeze. Can one be open and dance to the breeze of the change? Let us be anchored in joy. If one is not centered in happiness, one will be sad. From sadness, one starts thinking. Such a thinking will be polluted by sadness. The sadness starts justifying and develops its own survival tactics. One starts logically proving why one is sad and gets hypnotized by such logic. Logic acts like a drug that makes one get addicted to such thinking. Such thinking binds one's further thinking. Let us learn to be happy without reason, without logic. Only then we will be out of the trap of logic. If we win, we win. If we lose, we learn and therefore we win. Thus, we always will be winners. A joy that is caused is bound to change into unhappiness. In most cases, when the cause vanishes, happiness too vanishes. Be happy without a cause. Let this be your mantra. A monk was watching a football match between two communities. Every time one group took the ball to the other group's court, he used to jump out of joy and vice versa. When asked which group he was supporting, he answered, I am here just to enjoy the game. When we operate from such a space, innocence opens up. One will be like a mirror just reflecting what is as it is. One learns to accept life in all its beauty and see elegance in imperfection. One sees beauty in what is and not what it should be. In such a climate, one's relationship grows to newer heights. One learns to enjoy both peaks and valleys of life. Natvaham kamaye rajyam न सुखम न पराभवम कामये दुखतप्तानाम प्राणिनाम मार्तिनाशनम